Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. I'm Jeff. I'm going to show you something that I learned this past week that might be helpful to you. To show you this, I've got this map here of Utah with some major cities highlighted with their address points grouped by their addressing system. Black up here is Ogden. This is Bountiful. This is Salt Lake City. And down here is Provo. So let's say I wanted to fill in some of the cities that exist here and here. To do that, I'm going to have to work in the Symbology pane, which I have open here on the right. To open the Symbology pane, you've got to go to the Feature Layer tab or Appearance tab if you're pre-3.0, and then just click on the Symbology tab. So now I want to add some cities that are in here and group them with the green, and some cities in here and group them with the purple, because I don't want more than those four colors. So I'm going to hit this plus button that adds unlisted values and there's more than 100 unique values. I'm going to say yes. It actually doesn't take that long to populate that list, even though there's hundreds. Some of those cities that I want to add to the green are Centerville, Farmington, Kaysville. I held down the control key to select multiple lines. Now these towns down here are Orem and Lehigh. So now I'm going to hit OK. So it added those down here below what I already had in my list and it created another subcategory I guess. And the reason it did that is because it's using just the field name. I changed the field name up here to be address system. So I'm, if I change this down here to be address system, it will group that up there back with those originals. So with the bountiful color, with the green color, I want to group Centerville, Farmington, Kaysville, and Layton with bountiful. So I'm holding the control key down to select those. Now I right click and I say group values. But what happened was it changed my symbology to be one of those others. And I don't want to do that. I want them to be the green. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. This time I'm going to select bountiful first and then these others. And I could have held down the shift key and selected late. But now I right click and say group values, and they keep the original symbology. So it's whatever you select first, that's going to be the symbology that gets applied to those new layers that you group. So now we've got a big green blob instead of just a small one. Now Orem and Lehigh, I'm just going to select Provo, Orem, Lehigh, group values, and now they're all purple. And there are a ton of address points in Salt Lake City. There you go, that's how you can group things into existing symbology without having to redo that symbology. If you've already got it the way you want it, you need to add more categories to that group. You can do it without messing with the symbology or redoing the symbology. The reason I ran into that snag was I was making a large ownership map for a county that I work for. I would send, send it to the client, they would get input and they would say, I need to add these owners to the list, to this group or that group. And so I had to add those and I found out it messed up my symbology. And then I learned, it was just lucky that I noticed, oh, I selected that one first and then grouped them. That's how I used it. That's how I found out about it. Hope it saved you some time. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go down and chop that like button and the subscribe button while you're down there. Share these videos with your friends and colleagues. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you next time. Actually, watch this video that YouTube thinks you might like. Thanks. We'll see you next time.